side. Away we go. There's the bounce. Cocker over the top to Langdon. Taken high. He'll get the free kick. Carl Langdon starting at centre half forward. Wasting no time. Swings it out wide. Neil Taylor. He's taken the mark. He plays on. Boots it down towards the half forward line. He is in the road for the Tigers. Like an old fashioned grand final, this one. Beers, grandstand side, high kick. Clem coming back, out of bounds. Off hands will have a boundary throw in. Sparks marking Derek Kickett. Nicely down to Nisham from Higgins to Thorne, booting towards half forward. Diving mark, not taken in front by Melesso. Wilkinson's hand pass intercepted. Kick comes in nicely from Shepard to Ralph. Well, this will certainly test Clinton Brown. We've seen him play some very, very good games for Subiaco this year. But I believe that Warren Ralph has gradually built up form after a slow start of the season and now pose a very, very real threat to Subiaco. Probably at least as much as Bremen does uh, at the other end of the ground. Ten goals in the second semi final. Record equaling performance. Kicking from about 35 metres out. On its way, it's good. They might show there, as they have done all year, that they don't need an awful lot of latitude to be able to get things going. There it's with the start of it all was. Wilkinson going backwards. Saw a teammate's feet, I suppose, is all he could have seen. Got the hand pass away, was intercepted by uh, Claremont, and that's the end result. So a bad start for Subiaco, a bad error by Wilkinson. Early days yet, of course. First blood for the Tigers working up into the breeze. Play restarts, good bounce from umpire Werner. One by Higgins, wide at the pack. Dargy taken in the back. He'll get the free kick. I didn't think so. Ian Dargy now gets 15 metres. Runs through the middle. Long kick. Scott, the only man at home, takes the mark uncontested. Where's Bremen? Well, he's he made a lead. Ground. He made a lead and was ignored. Came on a lead. Scott finds Owens. He's at right half back. Hugs the boundary with a high kick. Kick it, and he goes one-handed. Got it down to the advantage of Clem. Clem goes looking for Molesso. They scramble after the ball. Wilkinson's in there. Umpire Vernon will move and advance it down alongside the town and country WA side. Quite sunny conditions for the moment. Molesso the tap away. Sparks does well. O'Loughlin on his knees. Dargy taken around the head by Clem. Play on the call now to O'Loughlin. Uh, Lachlan going across the ground to Neil Taylor. He's at half back, Neil Taylor. Good shepherding from young Bryce. Neil Taylor drives it long down towards half forward. In best position is Owens. Couldn't take the mark. Leads back in the race. Confronted by Hutchinson. Got the hand pass out. It's taken by Thorne on the overlap. Fears. Fears towards the middle and Allen. Allen, plenty of space. He can run now. Allen takes it off. Goes down towards the pocket. Not a particularly good kick. Bounces in front of. O'Connell down there. O'Connell gets it across towards Ralph. He's surrounded by Subiaco defenders. This is Willett. Willett out of defence. Back towards centre wing. Great attempt to mark there by Clem. Great tackle by kicking on Dargy. Ball was jarred free. Nisham's got it now looking for somebody. Measured kick. And he finds Ralph right on the boundary line. Yes, and the little general Nisham will have plenty of influence in this football match, I believe. Ralph gives possession away. Great defensive mark taken by Wilkinson. Things hotting up down there. O'Connell is claimed immediately. 15 metres against O'Connell. Wilkinson, what a fine defender he's been this season. Goes across the ground. Wonderful kick into the path of Taylor. Didn't have to break stride, Taylor. He's got the ball in the centre square. Not a good kick towards half forward. Bounces obligingly for Bremen. He was brilliantly tackled by Beers. What a great tackle that was. Front on. Horn got it across to Povey to Beers. Beers feigns a hand pass, runs around Carpenter, boots towards half forward. Melesso in from the side. It's knocked away by Wilkinson. Trying to crash his way through down there with Shepard. Gets a hand pass to hand. Across it comes to support. Down goes Pike. In goes Melesso. He's dragged to the ground by Bryce. This is grand final stuff. In goes Carpenter. And the umpire will move in and bounce it down. And why not? It's a grand final. Yes, it's pretty fierce. And uh, the big crowd here are loving every second of it. And Claremont looking very menacing early in the quarter. 
Bounced down half forward for the Tigers. Thumped away by Cocker White at the pack. Brilliantly done. It's taken by Neil Taylor. He's at right half back. Steadies. Boots it towards centre field. Hutchinson. Let it bounce in front of him. Ricochet off his shins. Taken there by Carpenter. High kick towards half forward. The mark is taken uncontested by Langdon. Black's marking by Claremont. He cut it on his left side. Drives it down. It was the 25 metre line. Getting a fist in there is Scott. Knocks it away from Bremen. And will have a boundary throw in. Yes, poor defence there. I can't remember the player was arguing the point of the umpire. Board. Meanwhile, Langdon just uh, cruised away off the mark. Cannot afford those sort of luxuries, Dennis, I don't believe. Boundary throw in in front of the electronic scoreboard. Clean possession to Beers. Wide of the pack, Owens. Shovels a hand pass through the congestion. Over the ball is hand. Can't control it. And it's out of bounds. We'll have another boundary throw in. Mark Hand, his best season in league football, 1987. Beers from behind. This is Hutchinson. Tackled twice. They've got the run of it now. Little chip pass comes across the ground. Nice kick, too. The mark is taken by Maud. Very crowded. Well, it's about to say crowded. I don't think it's so much a case of a crowded forward line for Subiaco. Dennis, it's the fact that every time a Subiaco player gets possession or near possession, he's under a lot of pressure. And that's a very, very important part of Claremont's game these days. That's Mort after Reed's short pass. Starts it right, it stays right. Before it goes for a behind. Subiaco's first score. Six and a half minutes played. Short pass in, marked by Povey. Povey drives it around the outer side. Cam Shepard is up in front. Bryce arriving late, couldn't punch it away. Shepard has the ball on the outer side, kicks for space. Drifting down the ground brilliantly, Lewis showed a lot of courage. Goes towards the pocket and Ralph. And Ralph must get 15 metres. Clint Brown was a stride or two late and collected him with his right arm and there's no 15. I'm inclined to agree with the umpire, Dennis. I thought it was very, very close timing there between the fact that uh, the time he marked it and the collision took place almost the same instance so if that was the case the umpire's right but Ralph already leading beautifully he's had this is his third set kick and Clinton Brown cannot afford to give him even a half a meter that's all he had that time shades of the second semi already Warren Ralph about five meters in from the line that's a magnificent attempt he's put up through for a goal well, he kicked 10 goals straight in the second semi. I much prefer a set shot for goal. It um, takes a little bit more concentration, and uh, I think I've practiced that over the years, that uh, it's a lot easier than uh, trying to run in and kick a goal under pressure. They're on two goals. Well, is somebody going to tell us when that's happening? Subiaco, one point. Bounce back in the middle. Oh, yeah. 11 points the difference. One down by Higgins, scrambled out by Allen, comes out towards right half forward. Kickett's in front, Sparks in close attendance, well played by Sparks, good shepherding by Langdon. Sparks runs away, claimed by Pike. Holding the ball was the decision, Allen boots it down towards right half forward, Thorne's got it, Kickett's cruising past. Still it's Kickett running towards the pocket, he's on for the short one, it must go to Kickett, eventually it does, it was very late. Kickett couldn't take the mark as a result, he's over the ball. Was he held without it? No free kick. Scrambled out of there by Taylor, and the mark is taken by Dargy. That was appalling defensive play there by Wilkinson. He saw the lead by Kickett, saw it, watched it, and ignored it. And really lucky to get out of it. Neil Taylor marks the centering kick. Nisham and Cocker get involved. Taylor has the ball. In the meantime, Nisham and Cocker go at it again. Kick towards the outer side from Taylor. Hand leads in the race out there, pushed in the back. I thought he was. No free kick. We'll have a boundary throw in. 11 points the margin. Nine minutes played. First term of the grand final. One forward by Cocker. Ham. Nicely blanketed off the boot. It only went about 10 metres. Bryce is working hard in there. Higgins has got it now. Not a particularly good hand pass. Scrambled kick out of the congestion sends Subiaco forward. The mark is taken by Langdon. That was 15 metres. He's got it, but he's ignored it. And now he's really running into trouble. Wishes he had it again. Featherby was the man that kicked it to Langdon. And now you can see a bit happening out there. But Langdon frustrated because of his own inability, I guess, to do something. Nisham's got it in any case. Nisham across the ground. 
Marked by Beers. Away he comes. Runs up through the middle, Tony Beers. Long kick. That hangs in the breeze. O'Connell. Just through his fingertips. Dargie was he held without it? Not according to the umpire. Clem comes in. Body on Dargie. Ball spills out of bounds and will have a throw in. Not a bad bit of work there by Dargie too, Dennis. So one on two, he was the one. And uh, had he failed to get that ball at least across the line, could have been problems for Subiaco. Good start this, though, by the Tigers working up into the breeze. This is Clem with the ball outside 50. Hooks it down towards the pocket. Ralph's in front. And Ralph, a chance to kick his third goal as we approach the ten and a half minute mark of the term. Well, I guess if this sort of thing continues, Dennis, uh, Button will have to look at alternatives, and I just wonder what they may be. I suppose Wilkinson to full back would be a possibility, but I don't think he'd have the pace to go with Warren Ralph. Brown would be the best bet, but so far that's not looking too special. No, he certainly didn't have those alternatives in the second semi-final, or couldn't find them. Warren Ralph, confidence in his step, and he comes boldly. Misses to the left-hand side. Nice little contact by Peter Thorne in the goal square. Goal umpire decided to ignore it and uh, pay what was obviously a point. Hasn't missed too many. What does that make it? About 12-1 in the last uh, in the final round so far for Ralph. This is Taylor running it out, drives it around the outer side. Big pack out there. Higgins couldn't hang on. Allen roving the pack behind, swings it back towards half forward, and a gallant mark is taken in defence by Bryce. Lunging at that one. Price around the outer side. Missed out there by the big fellow Cocker. Slapped on by Claremont to the advantage of Nisham. It was well played by Higgins. Nisham goes down towards the pocket. Awkwardly there for Ralph. Willett gets the hand pass out to Taylor. Taylor swings it back towards half back. Tigers surround the ball. <laughs> they had the numbers. Pike collided out there with O'Connell. As a result, away comes O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin goes down towards centre wing, and Hutchinson shows courage to go back and take that mark. He's a quick son of a gun. Told to play on now. Swings it across for a more central situation. Georgiades has it. Where's Bremen? He's coming on a lead. The speared pass will find him. Beautiful pass. They're finding it very, very hard, Subiaco, up for to uh, make any sort of space at all. That was probably the first time they've really had time to deliberate on what they're going to do with the football. And a beautiful pass has picked out Bremen. Now he'll be kicking from inside the 50-metre circle. And to Todd Bremen, that is no problem at all. And the breeze, which is a little bit blustery, is probably at his back. Bremen sends it on its way. It's through. Subiaco's first goal, 1-1 to 2-1. Uh, it's always satisfying to kick the score, but it's just as satisfying to be involved in setting up of the goal. Obviously, where I'm playing, it's most important I kick the goals or else you're not going to be playing the next week. Todd Bremen, his first of the afternoon.